So um, one of the, uh, I was saying in the beginning, some of the important areas um, that you have to think about are multicultural issues. And one of the main reasons for this is because the, well, it's important. People have a lot more in their identity than just their sexual orientation or their gender identity. Um, everybody has a sexual orientation. Everybody has a gender identity. You add on top of that, um, the other thing I would say is that people cannot separate their identities out. So one of the things that happens often is that somebody, and this, I hear this a lot both with religion and with race, um, but if somebody comes in and they say, um, I'm a Christian and I'm, I'm a lesbian, um, we tend to have this idea that they have to split those two, that, that Christianity can't be that important if it discriminates against your sexual orientation and you have to pick one or the other. And the, and the gay community has been not very positive towards spiritual people, religious people, and religious people have not been very tolerant towards um, sexuality. So um, when per a person lives in both camps, it's a real struggle. It's the same with race, um, that they can't separate being black from being gay. Um, and if you have somebody that, um, it's been termed triple jeopardy, say a lesbian woman, a lesbian of color is a woman uh, a person of color and a lesbian, she has three things, three strikes against her, and in that, um, there's a lot more discrimination that's, that's occurring. So it's important to understand those things and also understand for your clients how that shows up and um, if it's impacting what's going on with them. Issues around race, ethnicity, culture, um, region or nationality, um, age, gender, uh, their social class, disability, religion and spirituality, and all of those factors, and we'll talk about those individually for each group, but all of those factors intersect in a way that creates even more discrimination. So um, we'll talk a little bit about some recent studies, but the, um, there have been a few that have come out recently that um, show that that intersectionality that, that happens when somebody is, um, say, a transgender person of color, um, that they, they receive much more discrimination and have much more adverse effects than a white person who's transgender. So um, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff in there about, um, that you have to think about about those intersections of identity. The other thing I would say is that people cannot separate their identities out. So one of the things that happens often is that somebody, and this, I hear this a lot both with religion and with race, um, but if somebody comes in and they say, um, I'm a Christian and I'm, I'm a lesbian, um, we tend to have this idea that they have to split those two, that, that Christianity can't be that important if it discriminates against your sexual orientation, and you have to pick one or the other. And the, and the gay community has been not very positive towards spiritual people, religious people, and religious people have not been very tolerant towards um, sexuality. So um, when per a person lives in both camps, it's a real struggle. It's the same with race, um, that they can't separate being black from being gay. Um, and if you have somebody that, um, it's been termed triple jeopardy, say a lesbian woman, a lesbian of color is a woman, uh, a person of color and a lesbian, she has three things, three strikes against her. And in that, um, there's a lot more discrimination that's, that's occurring. So it's important to understand those things and also understand for your clients how that shows up and um, if it's impacting what's going on with them. So one of the things that you need to understand is that there are a full range of expressions of way, ways that identities express themselves and that they also can change, and they do change. They can change based on context, culture, geography, and an individual's place on their life journey. Um, every individual has a biological sex, a gender identity, and a sexual orientation. Um, each one of those things are different. Uh, that's very important to understand. We have a notion in our world that <clears throat> there are only two. There are male and female, masculine and feminine, and every now and then we think of a third, you know, like in sexual orientation we have gay, straight, and bisexual in the middle. Um, all of that is considered a binary construction, meaning that there's only two. Um, really, in our world, diversity is the norm, not the binary. Um, yet we construct things in these ways that marginalizes and, and it makes invisible people who don't fit in those constructions. Um, each person has an individual way of uh, expressing themselves as a gendered or sexual being, and all of this can be very fluid. Um, 
So being transgender does not mean you're gay. Being gay does not mean you're transgender. You can actually be both. Um, there is an overlap, and that's part of the reason why we're talking about it here rather than in um, any of the other segments. Um, because gender variance is often seen in a gay context. So when somebody's gender variant, they're the person that usually gets targeted for violence. Um, so masculine females and feminine males are assumed to be gay. They may not be, but they are assumed to be, and so then they get harassed or bullied. Uh, Anti-gay discrimination and violence often targets gender expression and not sexuality. Uh, they don't actually see what you're doing sexually. So the traditional binary gender model is that you're born male, your biological sex, or female. Um, that includes hormones, genitals, secondary sex characteristics. Um, and because you're born male, you're going to be, you're going to express your gender in a masculine way, in dress, posture, roles, identity. If you're born female, you're going to do it in a feminine way. Um, if you are male and you're masculine, you're going to be attracted to women. You're going to be heterosexual. And if you're female and feminine, you're going to be attracted to men. That's sort of the standard expectation of the binary model. So a revolutionary idea about this is breaking those out in different ways. So biological sex, we have like the continuum of male on one end and female on the other with intersexed in the middle. Um, even that is not really accurate. I would say it's more of a circle, maybe, or a sphere. It's, it's, much, more, it's much more different than that. Um, masculine and feminine gender expression, we put those on polar opposites. They're not really, somebody can have both high masculine traits and feminine traits. Um, and they can have neither. So um, one line really doesn't fit for gender expression, but we'll use it here as a, a way of sort of describing what the differences are. Um, and then uh, sexual orientation is who you're attracted to. So you could be attracted to men, to women, to both, to neither, to something else completely. Um, so when you look at the way that things can get configured, that just because you're male doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna be masculine and like women. You could be male and masculine like men, both, neither or other. Um, you could be androgynous and like anybody. <laughs> um, same thing if you're female, you could fall anywhere in the spectrum. Um, and so it's a lot more confusing than what um, you know, people actually think. Um, and, and not necessarily confusing, it's just much more diverse than what people give you credit for. Um, so I want you to remember that when you think about this, that there's there is a difference between you know, the biological sex, gender identity, how you express your gender identity, and your sexual orientation. All of those are different, and they can look very different in different people. And when you're working with people, you really want to find out where they fit on all of this stuff, and not make assumptions about, they look this way, so they must be that. Um, because it could be very different in how they do all this. And, and this is actually true for anybody, whether they're gay or straight, or uh, lesbian or transgender, any of that kind of stuff, that you really have to look at all of the levels of identity and the possibilities that come up. 